One of the most common tasks you're going to face in Physics 51 Lab is to take a circuit diagram like this and turn it into an actual circuit, like this. Let's see how we can go through our circuit diagram and systematically construct it as an actual circuit. Before we can do that, though, we need to look at the cables that we're going to use to connect everything together. So we've got these BNC cables that we use to connect instruments to each other. There are actually two wires. There's a pin on the center, and then there's a cylindrical conductor on the outside. And we can connect them to the function generator and oscilloscope by connecting to these terminals. Next, for connecting various parts of the circuit, we use these banana plug cables. These plugs on the end just snap into the uh, ports on our circuit, and we'll use those to connect various circuit elements together. And then we have cables like this that go from a BNC connector on one side to a banana plug on the other, and those let us interface between our instruments and our circuit. And finally, when we need to split a signal, if it's coming from a uh, a, an instrument, we can use these BNC T connectors. Or if it's in our circuit, we can just connect two banana plugs together. Starting at the left, where we've got our function generator, we know that's an instrument with a BNC terminal. So we're going to start with a BNC connector, and we want to connect it to our circuit elements here, the capacitor and the resistor. So we're going to use a BNC to banana plug cable. And to get the signal from the function generator, we're going to plug our cable into the main output on the far right. The other terminals aren't going to be used, therefore communication between instruments and are irrelevant for the experiments we're doing. Now the center pin of the output is connected to this red banana plug, and that generally goes to the top part of the circuit diagram, or the portion of the circuit that we consider positive. And the black cable is connected to the cylinder on the outside, and that's going to get connected to the part that we associate with lower voltage or uh, typically on the bottom half of the circuit diagram. So that means we're going to connect the red banana plug to one side of our capacitor, and we're going to connect the black banana plug to one side of our resistor. Next, I'm going to complete the bottom of the circuit diagram by connecting the point where the plug connects to this resistor back to the oscilloscope. So I'm going to need one of these BNC to banana plug cables to do this. And I'll plug the BNC connector into channel 1 of the oscilloscope. And now I've got the red and the black banana plugs. I was connecting the bottom of the circuit diagram, which is going to be the black plug here. And I can just plug it right into the uh, existing banana plug. And that completes the bottom portion of my circuit diagram. I've got my uh, output from the function generator going to the resistor, and then continuing on to the oscilloscope. And now we've got this free red connector that comes from the oscilloscope. So we just want to consult our circuit diagram, and we see that it's supposed to connect to the other side of the resistor. And so finally we look at our diagram, and we see there's only one part left that we haven't connected. So we need to connect one side of the resistor that has the red cable going to it to the other side of the capacitor that doesn't have a cable going to it. Now oftentimes when we want to see a signal on the oscilloscope coming from the function generator through a circuit, we want to compare that to the signal coming straight out of the function generator. So let's add one more thing into this circuit. Let's add a path that goes from this output to channel 2 of the oscilloscope. That way I can see both signals. It's easy enough to plug a cable into channel 2, but now I need to plug it into the function generator at the same output. So I'm going to use this T-junction to do that. So the BNC connectors just push on and then twist 90 degrees to snap into place. And I can do the same thing connecting that T-junction to the main output of the function generator.